Hello everyone. Today I'd like to talk to you about a book I just recently finished called The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. Um, now this book is phenomenal when it comes to habits in general because he talks about habits in all areas of our life. For example, if you were to form a habit in an individual life, he talks about habits in individual lives, he talks about habits in corporations, and he talks even about habits in societies and how um, society uses habits to form movements. So it's pretty cool. Um, overall in terms of habits. Uh, in this book, he talks about this basic concept of the habit loop, which is essentially a loop that most habits um, circle around as. Uh, and it's three phases. So the first one is the cue, which is what um, the habit initially is triggered from. Um, and then there's the routine, which is your habit in general. And then there's the reward, which is that deep satisfaction you achieve from actually doing the habit. So, um, he also talks about this idea of a keystone habit. So it's this habit that m makes the rest of your day go by better, it, and it even makes all your other habits go even more smoothly, which is pretty cool to think about. It's kind of like the boss habit, or the alpha habit, to say, I, I guess. <laughs> so um, in my life, my habit loop is was, was originally the intention to wake up, um, and the routine was to go to the fridge and get breakfast, and then the reward is that deep satisfaction of that energy boost that I achieve um, from that habit. Um, but he also talks about how habits are actually more stickier than common sense, which is pretty cool to think about because um, you think common sense are more stickier, but I guess when you think about it, habits, when you start doing them over and over again, you do them without thinking. And that's very similar to common sense in that sense. So um, they're essentially molded together as, as one sort of concept. Uh, so. Um, he also talks about how habits are so feeble that if you were to change any of the cue, the routine, or the reward, then um, that habit would change quite drastically. So um, in my life, I, I changed the routine aspect of my habit loop in the sense that my, my cue was still initially to wake up with the intention that I was going to do that habit. And then instead of routine going to the fridge and getting breakfast, I swapped it out for working out, which um, essentially provides me with the same reward of that energy boost. So you can see, like, if you were to change the routine aspect of it, your habit would change in general. So it's pretty cool to think about. And then also my keystone habit would be working out because working out gives you that energy boost for the rest of the day. And it also makes all my other habits run smoothly for the day. Um, yeah, so I wanted to talk to you about the habit loop. Uh, Again, the book is uh, The Power of Habit by Charles Duick, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.